And finally, New Rule Trump fans have to admit that of all the lies he vomits on a daily basis, the one... <laughs> the one that makes you look the dumbest is this. On day one, we will begin working on an impenetrable, physical, tall, powerful, beautiful southern border wall. You can believe anything else, but give me this one. <laughs> Just admit you got conned when you actually thought that Blob the Builder was going... <laughs> was going to erect the eighth wonder of the world for free, and Mexico would pick up the check. If you don't want to say it out loud, you can mow it into the corn. <laughs> Come on, man, we've all been there. You bought weed in the park, and when you got home, it was pine needles and oregano. Even General Kelly had to admit a couple of weeks ago that Trump's idea of the wall was uninformed and had evolved. Ooh, that pissed Trump off. He quickly lie-tweeted, the wall is the wall. It has never changed or evolved from the first day I conceived of it. <laughs> yes, conceived. He's the Leonardo da Vinci of walls. His drawings of walls in his notebooks were years ahead of their time. And don't ever confuse it with a fence. Oh, during the campaign, Trump tweeted to Jeb Bush, it's not a fence, Jeb. It's a wall, there's a big difference. <laughs> Except now it's a fence. <laughs> Problem is, Trump fans don't want a fence, or a river, or a virtual barrier. They want a fucking wall. <laughs> because a wall represents an impregnable barrier that keeps out, not just Mexicans, but everything that makes them feel antsy about the old America that's slipping away. The wall, it's like one of those prescription drugs that blocks the causes of your discomfort. Yes, now there's Mexigon. Mexigon... <laughs> Mexigon has been clinically proven to reduce the pain caused by foreigners entering the country illegally. Mexicon works with your natural gullibility to construct a wall that keeps immigrants from shithole countries out. <laughs> and good-paying jobs in, so you can get back to cleaning your guns and sending out Facebook memes of Hillary getting hit with a golf ball. <laughs> Except it doesn't work that way. Most illegals don't even cross the border. They come here the same way you came back from Cabo. They catch a flight, and then they just stay. like that Australian on your couch. <laughs> Even Trump admitted the wall was bogus when he was caught on tape in a call to Mexico's president saying the wall is the la least important thing we are talking about. It was always just an applause line that got out of hand. So there you have it. The wall will not help with employment. It's not feasible to build. And even Trump knows it's bullshit. And if all that isn't enough to deter you, let me add this, Trumpsters. You don't need it, because everything that wall represents, the bigotry, the racism, the ignorance, the paranoia, is already in your heart. <laughs> yes, <clears throat> the wall has been inside you the whole time. <laughs> Trump just brought it out because he's the jackass whisperer. <laughs> but you don't need it. Every time you vote for a child molester because the other choice is a Democrat, the wall is there. <laughs> Every time you feel rage because a voice recording says, for Spanish, press two, the wall is there. It's there whenever you begin a Facebook post with, I'm not a racist, but. <laughs> and it's there every time a unisex bathroom makes you hold it till you get home. <laughs> it's there when snow 
makes you deny global warming. And it's there at the ball game when two gays on the kiss can make you throw up in your mouth. <laughs> Every time you use air quotes when you say the word college, the wall is there. It's there when you use Jew as a verb. <laughs> and it's there every time you're Tucker Carlson. So you don't need a wall, because you see, even without it, you're still the grumpy asshole who ruins Thanksgiving. All right.